feeling retro. Welcome back retro lovers. Today we're looking at how to convert your analog footage from a small video eight tape or a VHS tape from any of your retro devices from a VCR to a camcorder. To do this, you'll need four things. First, you'll need your retro recording device. You'll need your retro footage. You'll need a laptop or computer, and you'll need something that looks a little bit like this, a video capturing and converting piece of kit that you can buy on Amazon, you can buy on eBay. They cost about 20 pounds, $30. This one here cost me about 25 pounds and it came within two days. On one end, the USB will go into your computer or your Mac. And on the other end, you've got some ports here for audio and video. This does come along with some more audio and video cables as well. Today, we're converting some analog soft footage from the Sony Handycam. And our footage was recorded on an eight millimeter video A cassette. Included in your packet will most likely be some downloadable software. The CD is usually optional as the software is also quite commonly downloadable from the internet. I went with the CD this time because I do have a CD drive on my laptop. Once you've followed the instructions on the CD, you should get some software that looks a little bit like this. Here. And from here, I can use my audio and video cables. Now we will need to bring back our converting device because the other end of the cables will now plug into here. Yellow to yellow. And if you've got a black, that's for video. And I'll go with the white for that. We have our cables coming out from the camcorder, connecting up to our device. And on the other end, we have the USB. At this point, hopefully your device will light up if you've got all of your drivers correctly installed. And now you will now need to boot up your device that can play and show your retro footage. Be sure at this point that you do have battery. This can sometimes be a long process. It does depend how long your footage is. I've opted to plug mine in to make sure it doesn't run out. At this point, you will need to switch your device on and make sure it plays the footage that you're wanting to convert. You will need to make sure that you find the exact starting point that you want to convert from, which I've just found there, so I'll pause it ready. In your software, you'll probably have the choice to click from source, so I don't want my face being converted. So I'll switch over to our USB device. And although your software might be different at this point, it should give you the choice to select a video input and an audio input, at which point you want to always select the device that you've got plugged in, which in this case is the video capture. On video, I'll be selecting composite video. On audio, I'll be selecting the master, which is this device. And, and now you can see that the picture from this screen is mirrored on the screen here on the laptop. Now on the laptop or computer or Mac, we can press capture and that should will start to record the, the picture it's receiving. And on your retro device, you can now press play. It will now play on this device and it will be playing and recording on your computer or Mac. At this point, I will just say whilst we're converting, it's very important to select and make sure that you get a device that says Mac and PC. I am using a PC that wasn't very important for me, but I have seen from reviews online that it's very important to select one that specifically says it can be converted to a Mac. Now, lots of people are buying products that convert to PCs, no problem. They get it home and they find that it's not working with their Mac at all. When you're ready to stop converting, you can hit stop. There, sh there will be an option to save or export. And I would recommend in using the VLC media player to then play your converted footage. And we've now successfully converted our retro footage into the digital format. This can be put on YouTube. This can be played on a laptop. This can be played through your TV. I hope this has been helpful for you today. And I hope now you're feeling retro.